Anti-government protests continue across Kenya. The youth-led protests are organized largely on social media. They were initially sparked by a controversial tax bill. President William Ruto has since withdrawn the bill, but the protesters are demanding more, including an end to corruption and for Ruto to step down. The call for Ruto to, to go is a clarion call that calls upon the leadership of this nation to really listen to what the young people are saying, not hearing, intentionally listening to what they are saying. They are saying, hey, we have certain things that we feel that they are not going uh, on well in a matter that we appreciate. And they are saying now uh, we have an opportunity to, to lead this conversation. Social political protests are not new in Kenya, but in the past, they were led by politicians and their supporters. Analysts say this time is different. It was about things going wrong in the country. And the youth taking position and saying they have to do something about it. The Kenyan police have been accused of excessive force in handling the protests, which were seen as mostly peaceful when they started. The Kenya National Commission on Human Rights says at least 50 protesters have been killed. The Law Society of Kenya says it is seeking justice in the courts for victims of alleged police brutality and is urging President Ruto to initiate reforms. I feel like we're in a constitutional moment and I think the president should not take it negatively because he's not solely the reason for why we're in this constitutional moment. The question of corruption over years, the question of lack of adequate health care, proper education systems, um, these are things that are built over time that people are clamoring and saying enough is enough. Let us hold public officers accountable. Munene says other African countries are keenly watching the events in Kenya as the impact could spread across the continent. The rumblings are there. And uh, so it's a lesson to the various governments not to let things boil to a point like this one. Because the, the warnings in Kenya were there. Hmm? Many people kept on saying there is a problem here. There is a problem here. But it was ignored. Analysts say it is now up to leaders to learn and to do something about it. Juma Majanga, VA News, Nairobi.